itself beheading, Indian couple commits shocking sacrificial ritual. A shocking news story from the Indian state of Jugrat has been making headlines worldwide. It's the tragic tale of a couple who took part in a gruesome sacrificial ritual that ended with their own decapitation. According to reports, the couple, 38-year-old Hemubai uh, Makwana and his wife, 35-year-old uh, Han Saben, has been offering prayers in their hut every day for the past year. They even created a guillotine-like device at home specifically for this ritual. On the night of April 15th, the couple prepared a fire altar before putting their heads under the device held by a rope. When they released the rope, an iron blade fell on them, severing their heads, which rolled into the fire. It's worth noting that fire is considered an important sacrificial element in Hinduism and often plays a vital role in worship rituals. Between 2014 and 2021, India recorded 100 incidents of ritual human sacrifice. What the fuck? What? Wow. I don't know what to say. This is yeah. insane. This is, this is, this is insane. I have no we, words. I am out of words. We have only ever just encountered something like this before when there was like a Thai Buddhist monk a few years ago who also did a self beheading, a self suey wooey, um, to like reach nirvana or something. But I think he had help. And then those people that helped him got arrested, but they somehow managed to do this themselves. But what's really sad is that they left behind two kids and their elderly parents. And they just left a note to their remaining family members being like, take care of our kids and our parents, which I don't know. That's really messed up in my opinion. Um, are you going to respond? I like to how. Part? Wait, what is this? Psychopathic, Psychopathic. behavior is normal. What no, it's not hell? normal. Okay, that's not normal. The guys, let's be fair to India. This is not normal in India. No. Okay? <laughs> this is this is not at all normal to in India. Okay, this is like Indians. This is not us being shocked about it. Indians will also be shocked about this. Okay, but I, I like how oxymoron is uh, enjoying the level of engineering work that went into all of this to make sure that it <laughs> rolls right into the rolls into the fire yeah like how did they <laughs> so he's he's just like everyone here is shocked and is like that's that takes a lot that takes <laughs> a lot of calculations and engineering work to be able to to pull that off yeah wait did they how did they make sure that it rolls into the fire? cosmic heathen i don't like this comment this is a bigoted comment and i don't like this and support this oh my Sorry. god don't even highlight that what oh, were you yeah, saying that's hard don't even highlight that. What the hell, Cosmic Heathen? That was bad. Yeah. Don't That's even highlight that. That's, That's disgusting. unacceptable. Yeah, that is a... Oh, my God. Guys, please don't lose your humanity. We're here to, um, you know, highlight horrible ideas. Nobody deserves this. Okay? These mm -hmm. people, these people mm -hmm. were wrong. These people were wrong by an ideology that made them. Get... These people could have had happy lives happy fulfilling lives if their minds were not poisoned by this ideology right so we need to you know don't celebrate people dying that's not good yeah yeah the i Asian mean it's American really just got it's here. tragic right like the, this yeah. the people through their own delusion and then the influences of toxic belief systems in their life get to a point where they believe that this is the best answer for what they're experiencing in their life right like people don't come to this conclusion out of nowhere this doesn't happen in a vacuum you have to be led through various influences in your life to believe that this is the right thing to do or that this is beneficial to you or even your family um do you um, think that these acts of human sacrifices are increasing in India or are we just covering them more? I do not have any good data to, in any way to suggest an increase. All I know is that between 2014 and 2021, there were 100 incidents of ritual human sacrifice in India. Which How many? 
100 between 2014 and 2021. So in less than 10 years, there are 100 incidents. But in a population of like what will soon be the largest population in the world, that's actually a very small number. Minor, yeah. So guys, don't say this is normal. This is not normal. Yeah. Yeah. I, 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 okay, it's, it's even an one of this happening. Okay, it's a, okay. so let, let, let's be clear. Okay, we have to think about this. Great. We're mm-hmm. not saying that this is not insane and not ridiculous and shouldn't be highlighted, okay? Even one of these happening once ever, that would be like, what the F? How did this happen? Okay, so even one is a big deal, but that doesn't mean that it's normal. But it doesn't need to be normal for it to be important. Is that, is that clear? It's important. Oh it's ridiculous. God, it needs to be highlighted. Yeah. Okay, but people think like people think that just because we're making a big deal out of it, we're claiming that it's a normal thing. It's not. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. So, and John is saying, is there anything being done in India to stop such acts or decrease it? So, in many states, I don't know if this is something that's federalized throughout the union or this is just done on a state by state basis. But there are many states that have outlawed practices, like they outlaw black magic, they outlaw agori practices, and the cannibalism of agori practices and other forms of um, superstition, toxic superstition. Mm. So, the state of Maharashtra has um, a very strict anti-black magic act. Um, so there's there's stuff like that. Um, but I don't know how standardized that is throughout the country. If people in India, I know we have a lot of people in India watching right now, let us know, is this something that's throughout the country or just on state by state? Yeah, but Gaijin American has the real solution to all of this. They need better mm-hmm. mental health resources. That's the that's what you need. Yeah. I mean, honestly, this and couple also, probably just needed more resources in general. Like, based on what I was no. reading, it didn't sound like they were very well off. You know, like they, they sounded like they were struggling. Yeah. Um, Kenny just gave us a five euro super chat. Thank, Thank you so much, Kenny. Kenny. Yeah, that's very sweet. Um, okay. So that was weird. Um, is the less, uh, next one also weird? Or can we see? Yeah. Next one is Pakistan. Saying, how did people even come up with human sacrifice? Different societies somehow came up with these effed up rituals. It doesn't make any sense evolutionarily. There's. I actually watched a very interesting video about why the Mayans and Aztecs did ritual human sacrifice and it was so interesting and basically one theory by sociologists for that cultural context was it was a way to societally express and exercise anger and also control the population when you were literally on top of a pyramid in front of the entire freaking city freaking slitting people's throats and having their blood drip all the way back down like that that sends a powerful message to a population. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it show it demonstrates control. Mm-hmm. Um people are using super chats to insult each other. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what to do with this. Uh, Newman is saying oxymoron the laughing stuff stock of atheist republic. Um I why why are you doing this, Newman? But uh, thank you for the super chat. We're now starting but... beef in the super chats. Yeah, using yeah. super chats to to insult each other. Okay, I don't, I don't like it. Okay, well, thanks for the super, thanks for the support. I guess. Um, and I'm sorry, okay. I can't come to Oxymoron's defense on this. I, I abhor his views, so I can't come to his defense. <laughs> <laughs> Like we were both thinking of like, don't say it, don't talk like that about oxymoron. I, mean, <laughs> like, <laughs> like, I hate everything he stands for, but he's nice to us most of the time. <laughs> yes, he's nice to us most of the time. We don't like his views, but he not does. all the time, but most of the time. <laughs> most of the time, yeah, yeah, yeah. He's Sorry, a fascist, man. but he, he's he's a fascist, but he's our fascist. <laughs> It's fine. (laughs) (laughs) Dead. Oh Oh my my god. God. Okay, okay. (sighs) Um, Can we? Beef. We have Hindu. (laughs) (laughs) Get my best-selling book, "Why There Is No God," for free. Click on the link for it in the description.